Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prove the following trigonometric identities. Please don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. Always note that when you're asked to prove a trigonometric identity, you prove from the most complex side. In the example given, we have the left hand side and we have the right hand side. The left hand side is the most complex, so I'm going to be proving from the left hand side. From our left hand side, we have sine beta divided by one plus sine in bracket 90 plus beta minus sine negative beta divided by one minus cos in bracket negative beta. If you look at each term of a fraction on the left hand side, we can simplify some trig identities found. For example, we can simplify a co-function sine 90 plus beta as shown. We can simplify a sine negative beta, that's identity for negative angles. And also we can simplify cos negative beta. So starting with that, we have, I'll start with sine 90 plus beta. We have sine 90 degree plus beta, that's a co-function for sine and cos, that will be equal to cos beta. Then we have the negative angle, cos negative beta, that's equal to positive cos beta. And then we have sine of negative beta, that's equal to negative sine beta. All we've written are all trig identities. And simplifying this into our equation, on the left we have sine beta divided by 1 plus, we've changed our sine 90 plus beta, that will be cos beta. So we have 1 plus cos beta minus on the right hand side of the fraction sine negative beta becomes negative sine beta so i'm going to put that in a bracket negative sine beta close bracket divided by one minus cos negative beta becomes positive cos beta at this stage we can first of all simplify the bracket this will be sine beta over 1 plus cos beta. If I open up the bracket, I have negative times negative, that's positive. So the sine becomes positive. Then I have sine beta divided by 1 minus cos beta. The next step is to find our LCD, or lowest common denominator. LCD equals, we have 1 plus cos beta multiplying 1 minus cos beta. Note that when finding the LCD, all the terms for a denominator, for all the fractions, must be factors of the lowest common denominator. So putting all under the same denominator or our LCD, we have our LCD to be 1 plus cos beta multiplying 1 minus cos beta. For our numerator, what we have is, we have 1 plus cos beta in the LCD, we are left with 1 minus cos beta multiplying our numerator sine beta. So I have that as sine beta multiplying 1 minus cos beta. I'm going to extend my fraction bar. Then I have plus, I have on the other side Minus 1 minus cos beta goes into our LCD. We're left with 1 plus cos beta multiplying sine beta bracket 1 plus cos beta. Simplifying further. At the top, you can see that sine beta is common 
for the two terms. So I'm going to factor out sine beta at the top. What I'm left with is on my left hand side, I have 1 minus cos beta plus on my right hand side, I'm left with 1 plus cos beta close bracket. Then at the bottom, if I expand the two terms that I have at the bottom, the binomial, I would have, that's the difference of two squared, so that's one square, which is one, minus cos squared beta. From our trigger identities, we know that cos squared a plus sine squared a equals to one, so therefore, sine squared a will be equal to 1 minus cos squared a. In this case, our a is cos beta, so therefore, what I have will be, for a numerator, I have sine beta in bracket. If I expand the bracket at the top, I have 1 minus cos beta plus 1, plus cos beta, plus bracket. At the bottom, I'm going to use my trig identity and change that to sine squared beta. Simplifying further, I have minus cos beta, plus cos beta, that will give you 0. Then I have sine beta divided by sine squared beta. That's the that square is going to cancel out. And then what I have at the top will be 1 plus 1, that's 2, over sine beta. And this is also equal to our right-hand side, as shown in the first part of the question. So, thanks for watching. Bye.